First of all, I want to give a overview of what is happening in Iceland and why it's happening. So you can see on the screen here, earthquake activity happening around Iceland. So down here is the Reykjavik Peninsula. Two and a half hours ago, approximately, there was a 3.9 magnitude earthquake just north of Grindavik area. We also have had a large earthquake, 4.5, I believe it was, at a new volcano that has come active under a glacier over here. We'll get into the details in a moment. But the overview that I want to show you, you see these lines here. This is a spreading center. This actually goes down you know, to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. So essentially, Iceland is situated across this spreading zone that goes all across the planet through the Atlantic. You can see the ridge up here in the north of Iceland. It gets a little bit distorted throughout Iceland, but we can actually see, if we go to Google Earth, and if we go down towards Grindavik area, you can see these ridges that go along all of Iceland, and these are the spreading centers so you can see in the Grindavik area, we have these ridges and these are spreading centers that are a continuation of that mid-Atlantic ridge. And in fact, in 2022 and 2023, we had uh, volcanic activity. You can see all of the fresh lava flows here from the Faldingisfall volcano. Apologize for the pronunciation. All this black is fresh eruptions from the last few years. It's only about, you know, six kilometers from the recent spreading events, 5.5 kilometers, you know, call it six kilometers to north of Grindavik, the town of Grindavik. We have already actually a partial ridge along the spreading center that became activated towards the end of 2023. You can see the Blue Lagoon here for reference, and you can see that we're not too far from Grindavik. All right, so if we take an overview of these rift zones or these spreading centers, you can see in reddish color here, these are more recent or present rift zones. This is where the lava has come up and you can see these are little lava fields. So they're really tracing these volcanic zones that the geological survey in Iceland has mapped out. So we have the East Volcanic Zone, and this is the volcano Grimsvatn that recently was activated yesterday with earthquake happening below a glacier. So we'll still get into that in a minute. But we see Grindavik is over here in this West Volcanic Zone and they kind of meet up in the North Volcanic Zone. If we look side by side with these volcanic rift zones, we'll see we have an earthquake map here on the right hand side. You can see all of these earthquakes. They're really this little bay here. That's this bay here. So we've got a string of earthquakes coming down through here along this northern volcanic zone. We have earthquakes down towards the, this is Grimsvatn volcano. Uh, you can see a magnitude greater than three earthquake. Yesterday, it was a 4.5. And then along here, this transition zone between the East Volcanic Zone and the West Volcanic Zone, that uh, strip along here, we have a lot of earthquake activity. Now, most of this is below magnitude three, and that's because as the magma intrudes, it is actually fracturing the rock open. And we can see lots of pictures from the Grindelwald area where we have fractures that have opened up in at the ground surface but deeper underground you know these are related to the magma intruding into the rock and so it's splitting the rock open as it is creating the pressure that's building up because of the magma being pushed into the rock and that breaking of the rock releases seismic energy and we can measure that with many kinds of sensors. So we have below magnitude three seismic activity happening because of the volcanic intrusion, that magma intruding underground. So we can see, according to the Geological Survey of Iceland, we have two sort of separate volcanic zones, the West Volcanic Zone in Grindavik and now activated the East Volcanic Zone. And that lines up with the earthquake activity. 
And we can see here, we've got warning levels. These are the aviation color code map released also by the Met Office in Iceland. So the Grimsvotten uh, volcano is in the yellow warning level. So this means that the volcano is experiencing signs of elevated unrest above you know, background levels and that there's been a change in the alert level. So if we zoom in here a little bit, we can see that the Grimsvotten volcano is underneath this white patch, which is actually a glacier. So what has happened, uh, we have a good picture here, we've got lots of what they call flood tremors happening. So what's happened is as the Grimsvotten volcano is heating up, the ground temperature is probably also rising and it's melting the uh, glacial ice above the volcano and that's creating meltwater. And what has happened in the earthquake yesterday was a, a release of that water that has built up. It sort of created a flood of water and you can see this blue trace. That's the uh, potential flood pathway of the water flowing underneath the ice. And already in this bay and all these uh, little rivers here coming out from the tongue of the glacier, the water levels have risen quite significantly and they will continue to rise as all this meltwater passes through uh, from underneath this uh, glacier. But we look in Google Earth, I'll bring that up again. So you can see lots of glaciers, actually some of the largest in Europe. So you can already see the volcano approximately here and parts of the volcano rim sticking out through the ice or perhaps, you know, this is the cinder cone area and that's filled up with ice. And we see the glacier flowing down towards the ocean along here. And then we have the melting front and all the uh, streams and rivers flowing out from there. So that's the situation in terms of this most recent activity. So it is related to the volcano uh, melting of that water that's built up pressure in a lake, so to speak, but underneath the ice. And then that has broken through, found a channel to flow down all the way to the ocean. But in terms of the area in Grindavik, they're measuring the ground deformation using GPS stations. These GPS stations, they're located on the surface. And as the ground moves, they're measuring uh, that deformation. And so what we can see is prior to the last eruption that happened, we had an increase of almost 100 millimeters of upward movement. And then pressure started to build up again and the ground was rising up. And then on December 18th, this is when we had the volcanic eruption, the ground split open. We had those long fissures, the volcanic eruption north of Grindavik and we see the ground you know dropped almost 100 millimeters during that time so the magma release releases the pressure and then the ground slowly sinks again but we only had a short-lived decrease and the pressure built up again the ground's rising and so this is one indication that we're getting close to another volcanic eruption by monitoring the earthquake locations we can also get a sense of the tremors where the magma is located none of these measurements are a indicator that we can totally rely on and predict when that eruption is going to happen to the minute but it gives us a sense of the location and you know as the activity is advancing you know the potential that it may erupt very soon so we don't know the hour or exactly the day but we do know it is coming so stay tuned for more updates as things develop in Iceland